In our ongoing Boomtown series, we are tracking the growth in our area. Last night, the Spokane City Council voted in favor of creating more housing opportunities for those moving to our city. The ordinance allows for more multifamily homes to be built on land that was previously zoned only for single family homes. Creme 2's Janelle Finch tells us now more about how this could impact future homeowners in Spokane. Spokane City Services planners say this housing initiative looks to move away from density and rather think more about form and scale. They say this could look like multiple families being able to affordably live on one lot. Housing could expand in Spokane, both in inventory and affordability. If you have an empty piece of land and build a fourplex, why can't that be condos that are less expensive because you're sharing the cost of the land and other things? The Building Opportunities for All ordinance passed during Monday's City Council meeting permanently creates more flexible housing types in Spokane. It's something the zone director, Jenna Ray, says will serve what she calls the hidden homeless. So when we think of homeless, we really think of that single adult on a street corner downtown. What we don't see are all of the families that are doubled and tripled up behind a single door. Ray says the passing of this ordinance could open doors for more Spokane homeowners. What we're working on is housing stability. We're working on everyone having a lease. We're working on people moving toward home ownership. Matt Hutchins with Cass Architecture in Seattle is already planning on opening the door for at least six Spokane families. He's developing plans for a sixplex on Spokane's South Hill. It's going to take one house and replace it with six households. He says Spokane is creating housing opportunities in ways other Washington cities aren't. We have been working uh, in Seattle for years and years to like allow this form of housing to happen again. And Spokane just kind of went and did it. With the passing of this ordinance, Hutchins hopes to begin building in 2024 and start moving people into a sixplex in 2025. The city of Spokane found data from the Washington Office of Financial Management that shows continued growth in our area over the next 14 years. The projected increase results in a need for at least 6,800 housing units by 2037. In the studio, Janelle Finch, Crempton News.